Hey Tommy, welcome back to Gossip Cafe. My name is Kay. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, happy. Thank you so so much for gracing us with your presence. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into this video. <music> Welcome to Gossip Cafe. We are talking about Unoni. If you don't know who Noni is, Noni is a trans woman who is in South Africa, obviously. And also, she is the one who was trending not so long ago because she said women with children from different fathers has they, they have to rate themselves lower because no man is going to actually circle for that or they shouldn't have standards in um, when they actually look they are looking for a man or they're looking to date a man or they're looking to get married again or something like that so she was training for that and people were labeling her for saying such vile things and all of those things and also i came out um, with a video saying that Noni is vile and all of those things and trying to understand what what is this whole thing because obviously Noni is not a fully woman if I may say so I don't want to sound as if I am transphobic or anything like that Noni is a trans woman she is not a naturally born woman so all those things came out and then people were making fun of it and all of those things so i believe at this point of time the energy and the outrage towards unoni including my video as well because that video i would like to apologize and i'm not gonna take it down but i would like to apologize to noni that i didn't mean to hurt her feelings i didn't mean to say all those things because obviously i didn't understand how double standards work in south africa so obviously people came for uno need the outrage and all of those things but when i actually sat down and checked throughout these weeks and i figured out that okay there's there's a lot of double standards in south africa and i think unoni should just continue doing her thing because obviously she's got a fan base and all of those things and also the reason why i'm saying all this is because we've got almost a kawula who is getting a different reception when it comes to have to his vileness i have multiple videos where i am clearly stating that umusa kawula is vile right and on top of it, I do follow Umusa Kaula, I do watch his videos, some of the videos that he does, I do watch them. And I do find him funny at some, 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 some times, I do find him funny because of how he say, say things that actually people really want to say, but they are scared of saying, right? But obviously, he doesn't have any bone in his body to filter anything. Just like Uno, he doesn't filter anything. Let me tell you. These two people, they are both vile. They are both saying things that could potentially hurt a lot of women, right? Or could hurt a lot of women, not even potentially hurt. Could hurt some of the women, especially when you're looking at the stats that how a lot of women are not really... They, they've got problems with their self-confidence, self-esteem, and all of those things. <clears throat> both of them, they are just vile but both of them they've got different pedestals or they, they they've got different um they are put in different pedestals by their fan base so most of the times a lot of people they can stomach what musa says they can stomach everything that musa says they laugh it's fun and uh, you can see his comment section you can see his 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 actual viewership and all of those things and then you go to noni with the same ideas or with the same craziness noni is saying the same thing that musak would say and everybody would laugh noni is labeled as not woman enough this thing and whatever you are not a woman you don't menstruate you are never bear kids and all of those things musa would say that to a woman 
like directly to Lerato Hanyako and everybody would be laughing and having fun and all of those things because wow it's their president it's their pope but Unoni would come and say it with a straight face like Noni doesn't just just doesn't add like salt and all, all of those spices and whatever she says she says it like she means it like this is what I'm saying and that's it you are fat you're not gonna get the man of your dreams go lose weight that's it Musa Kaula would come say bitch you are so fat you've got different ch children with different fathers bitch please sit down you are ugly as as umu biloa umu bi umu bi and people will laugh and it's fun and it's fun and games and all of those things and they will go and use that voice uh, on on Twitter and it's fun and games and the same people that would come on Twitter and on, on or rather on TikTok and say things about Unoni and all of those things but they are unable to say things about Umosa Kaula so what must I do here as a person on my side is to come forward and say I'm sorry Noni I didn't mean to I didn't know how these standards work in South Africa that if you are trans woman you are going to be violated or you are they are going to come for you the outrage is going to be bigger than a gay guy who we don't know his background sitting there and talking and then everybody is laughing and having fun and all of those things so the issue here I think it is because Noni is trans transsexual so the issue is engraved within transphobia or transphobics it's not because of Onodi is saying the same thing that Musa is saying it's just that people don't like Noni because Noni is trans is, is a trans woman let's 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 just put it that way that's what I think on my side because why the outrage is not on Musa's side but the outrage is on Noni's side that's what I'm asking myself on my side as well when I came out and say I go no this time you know for someone are you trans you know nothing about women's um, stuff you have no idea but now at this point of time I feel like Noni should just go on and do her thing coin that money if she has to coin that money get those views get those likes get those comments it doesn't matter how bad they are it doesn't matter how good they are she must just do her thing because obviously the outrage in South Africa has got different shades if you are Musa Kaula your outrage will be clean and pink and all the laughters and all the spring flowers and and all the yellow backgrounds and nice and happy then when you go to Unoni, who is a transgender, everybody is reminding her that Noni is a transgender. Noni will never have children, her, her own children, because obviously she was, she couldn't be a, she couldn't handle to be a man and all of those things and blah blah blah. And people are going crazy. And the same people who are going crazy, they are able to take the voice Gamusa and take it to TikTok and have some fun with that voice. What are we here? Sitting here, single by and getting. Nah, no need. You need to take that python, takaba or python, baleka nayo. Just have some fun with what you're doing because wow, South Africa is just a mess. It is a mess. You can go extra mile in South Africa and you will be hated. But if you are the best person or you, you are beautiful, you, 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 you meet the standards and all of those things, no one is going to say anything. I'm not saying Musa is meeting standards of beauty and all of those things, but Musa is meeting standards of a funny person, obviously, this gay guy who's funny and all of those things, saying things the way that they, 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 they like and bringing the scoops. And on, the, on top of that, these Musa minions who are coming to my videos or any other videos of youtubers who are talking about Musa because Musa is the king of pop culture apparently which is obviously he's, he, give, he, he gave himself that and say that we are stealing Musa's, uh, Musa's content and all of those things don't talk nonsense don't come here and talk nonsense and I don't give a fuck if you will come and comment on my video and tell me anything I don't care I'm not gonna block you because wow for me I myself esteem and my self-confidence is spilling out so I'm not gonna be moved by the nonsense that you're saying we're not stealing anyone's content over here if you want people not to report things that Musa reported you should choose Musa as well to stop reporting things that I have been reported already we don't care what you say we're just gonna report we're not using your own camera we're not using your data 
we're not using anything we're using our own things so if you don't want to be to cross paths with me you must go and sit there and watch Musa's videos only and stop telling us that we're stealing anybody's videos okay that's about it but what, what I'm saying right now is Unoni should just make sure that she's doing her own thing I know she's got a, a fan base oh Kalimbao they like him they like her rather and all of those things just like Musa Kaula is liked by a lot of, of celebrities and all of those things they are doing the same thing it's just that the deliverance is different Musa is a bit funny and Unoni is a straight talker no filter just a straight talker and that's it we just have double standards thank you so much for watching till this far please do me a favor subscribe and make sure that you give this video a like and don't forget i need to comment down below what do you think and then i'll see you on my next upload i love you peace